Hey everyone, this is Lost Lake RV Resort. Um, one of the roads here, I'm not for sure of the name, but um, give you a little area view of the park here. As you come down, that little road there just goes up to the other road here that goes back around again. Go ahead and pause the video real quick here. These are the pickleball courts up here. You can also play basketball there too. You have a children's playground right here and a little table and stuff. This is the community uh, trash bin right here. And they have a propane tank thing up here as well as a uh, RV dump where you can dump your stuff if you have an RV. This is the other road up here, which we'll go up in a little bit. This is the Lost Lake entrance. And there's a little office up there too. All right, this is the other road I was talking about that goes up. There's the playground again, or actually a little playhouse and a playground there and pickleball courts. These are some of the park model homes here. It's like it's own little community within a community. There's the miniature golf. There's the tower. And it also has these uh, canopies that go over people's RVs. You can have those put in too. Or if you buy one, you can already have it installed. It's a private community. And you can actually own your land with title. And they do rentals here too, but it's long-term rentals. If you rent, I think it has to be more than three months, if I'm correct on that. Some of the people here live here year-round. Some of them live here part of the year. Most of the time it's dead silent quiet in here, so if you like peace and tranquility, this is the place for you. And this is what they call Park Model Lane. this road very often. These are all park model homes. If you notice, they either have hardy board or they're shaped like a log cabin with wood. If you have a park model home, it has to look like this. It has to have like a cabin feature. So if you buy a park model, you have to have it converted to look like a cabin just come with a regular siding on it. They won't allow that in the park here per the HOA rules. Someone has a little book thing there where you can share books. This little house here coming up is our house. I'll give you a little tour here in a second. As you can see, it has a sold sign. Yeah, Amy and I just sold, but I'm keeping it kind of quiet. Um, we're actually moving back to Arizona. It's beautiful up here, but we can't handle the rain or the winters. Uh, we tried being Washingtonians, uh, but our heart's in Arizona, so we're returning to Arizona. We got a small deck, a little fire thing here. We got another room on. This is the how the house looks. We 
paid 120 and we sold it for 285,000. And we own it free and clear. And you actually have, we own the land too that it sits on. Another little shed that we had put in. The back deck. That other little room back there that we had built on, that's a, what you call a mud room. We got a washer and dryer put in there and we have a deep freezer in there as well where the outside lights are turned on. All right, this is the living room. It's got an electric fireplace. When we bought this, we liked the, uh, what do you call the same of the up, uh, the raised uh, living room. dining room table we keep the chairs up just to give us a little bit more room in here all the kitchen appliances in here are major appliances Frigidaire uh, we wanted the bigger refrigerator originally but unfortunately the two-story one didn't work this is granite countertops the oven regular oven regular convection microwave we have a split system that's loft up there bed come back here and that goes upstairs I'll show you that in a minute this is the, the bathroom the granite tower tops it's got a kitchen what am I saying kitchen it's got a uh, shower sorry about that toilet this is the bedroom downstairs Put a queen size bed in here. If you notice, it's got USB ports over here and a plug. So you can plug in USB ports. And this is the room I was talking about in the back. Sorry, it's got a lot of stuff in here. But we're in the middle of moving. Another toilet. Unfortunately, we got our crew luggage to put on top. And this house even comes with cats staring at us right now, wanting out. But, or you can buy the house with the kitty cats as well. Just kidding. They're coming with us. That's it. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Oh, I'll try to do a loft uh, video. All right, guys, one more thing up here. I'll show you the loft upstairs. I'm not gonna go in there, but I'll show it to you. This is the loft upstairs. It's actually a king size bed up here. I don't wanna see if I can film this real quick, but this is the bed. Sorry, it looks like they kind of, that's weird. The bed was made when we left. I guess uh, we had a, uh, auditor come in here today since we're selling it uh, home monitor uh, so uh, maybe they had to look at something up there I don't know but the bed was made you know it's wrinkled but that's our tour of our home uh, we're actually in the process of we're gonna be all right everyone that's the tour of our Lost Lake RV Resort and a tour of our home that we just sold uh, we're going to be leaving here around April 4th uh, to uh, head out. And the first thing on the itinerary is um, to buy property in Costa Rica, a condo or a townhome. Probably a condo down there. Uh, Amy's always wanted to own property down there, so we're going to be able to do that with uh, part of the proceeds from the house here from selling. And then we're also going to buy a place in uh, Tucson as well. Uh, but uh, Costa Rica is going to come first. And that is it. You want to say hi, Sinbad? There's Sinbad right there. He says hi. Actually, he thinks it's dinner time when it's not. He's hungry all the time. Say goodbye, Sinbad. 
Alright, everybody have a good day.